Hello everybody, it's Becky from the Painted Stone Cottage. I am out in Versailles, Kentucky. Um, today, I had the fun job of uh, towing my son's truck from Shelbyville to Versailles. Uh, right off Highway 60, not too far. But, now we're back to jumping the truck just to get it off the little dolly. Good times. And it's a hot day here. saying get a Ford. why I get so homesick you know I'm not from Florida so every time I come home like I take these back roads uh, there's a little town I like to cut through off of uh, highway 64 between 
Frankfurt to Shelbyville. And it takes you down these little tiny roads and it is just breathtaking in the fall. You know, I mean, like I get tearful because I, you just can't match that kind of beauty. I kid you not, I come home in the fall and I get tearful taking this little road to my hometown. raised around this kind of beauty every day of your life nothing in the world can replace that and you're always going to long for home not too far from here the Stivers homestead is uh, not too far from for sale it's just uh, I think it's about 20 miles if that so I can find my way back home. Okay, so back to my video. Um, one month ago today, we left Florida with our two adult male cats, a boat, four kittens, and uh, a huge moving truck headed back to Kentucky to start our lives over because the chaos of Florida got to be a bit much. The cost of living in Florida just keeps rising and rising. You're never gonna get ahead that way. It just became too much stress on us. I wasn't happy, I had no family there. My husband has no family left. So aside from some friends that, you know, my husband likes to fish with, you know, in our little homestead that we had going, there was really no reason for us to continue to stay someplace where we couldn't continue to grow. You know, we couldn't have livestock and stuff like that there. Even though, uh, I did sneak in a few chickens. But, you know, it just makes everything a little difficult. Because even though we were in this massive community and everybody's land was, you know, a good ways apart, it was still a HOA, so they had a little bit of say-so over what we could do on our little homestead. Now, I don't like being told what I can do. It's my land. I feel like if I buy something, I have a right to do what I want on it. They didn't see it that way. So, time to move on. But, yeah, I'm red right now. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> uh, but we're happy to be here in Kentucky, and definitely it has taken a turn for us. We are currently living in a uh, little RV travel trailer or something like that, you know, until we can find what we need because I didn't want to get tied down. Oh, hello, Stivers Homestead. We just passed their exit, and for their privacy, I won't reveal that. Uh, but. It's been, uh, I just want to, I, I didn't want to be locked into renting a place and being under contract for renting a house for the next six months or a year if it may not even take us that long to find what we're, what we're looking for. So I bought uh, my brother's little travel trailer for a thousand bucks and uh, we pretty much gutted most of it and remodeled it made it into our temporary little headquarters slash home. But this gives me the opportunity to help my brother, uh, my other brother, Tony Moore of Moore To Do Farm, and uh, getting his little homestead back on course. Um, since he uh, had gone back to work a couple years ago, things kind of got out of hand and yard work wasn't getting done that had been left um, it was just a mess. Uh, so we're trying to get things going for him on his little homestead so that they can, they have 
everything they need to grow food. So it's not like I'm sitting around in my little travel trailer bored just looking at land online all day. That's not it at all. Uh, me and my husband get up every day and work our butts off around there trying to get things straightened out and fixed for my brother. That way when he does decide to retire and go full stead or full on homestead, um, it's ready for him to go. You know, for the first time, his maple trees are going to be tapped this uh, coming winter. Well, I guess early, uh, late winter. I guess uh, for Kentucky, it's probably going to be like mid February, probably, to tra tap the maple trees. And he will be branding his own maple syrup. And uh, I'm very happy and excited about that. That's going to be fun. New experience for both of us. But things are coming along. And I'll show you some of the progress that we've made. I've been having a good time enjoying myself. You know, and helping share my knowledge with my nephew and my brother. Uh... We're all still learning though, aren't we? It's always a learning process. We never stop learning when it comes to farming and homesteading. Animals especially because, boy, can they present some problems sometimes. But we're doing good. My husband and I are both very happy and I can't wait for my husband to see fall in Kentucky. It's just so stunning. <clears throat> Bring a tear to my eye. But anyhow, I'm going to have to get back to you here in a little bit. I need to drop this little uh, tow, dolly, whatever, car tow back off at the U-Haul place for my son and, uh, and get home and make some dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> 